Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Wizard Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is part two and the last part I went over how to get the sword and the shield and we got them and now Navi wants to say what up. Let's let her talk. Blah 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 blah. Yep, we're coming. Anyway, I just went into the files to check the recordings and I'm amazed I forgot how nice it is to record old games like this because they only take up like four little files for fraps thing and usually it's like 13 anyway this is why we got the sword and the shield this guy is arguably the biggest dick ever made by Nintendo it's I can't stand him he just berates you constantly he's like the biggest bully ever just listen to him look now we got him we got a oh what yeah we uh, surprised him because we came prepared he wasn't expecting that See? Look at that. Using the caps. Question mark, explanation point. See? Mido. Grumble, grumble. Yeah, I can't stand him. Did you see those little thingies? I love how when you stand still, they like turn into little light worms. I don't know. I always thought that was neat. I used to play around with it when I was younger. Anyway, first enemy. Yeah, there we go. And... Deku Stick. Now I'm setting a personal challenge here. I'm going to try to go through as much of the game as I can with one stick. And uh, we'll see if I can make it. So, good luck. And tree. Yes, Navi's oh so famous words of wisdom. I'm sure everyone just loves when the fairy's got something to say. Alright, I think that we can get it now. There's one more item that we can get. And it's in here. It's a new one. Whenever you get a new item in Zelda, it stops the screen and like explains it to you. Which is nice, I guess. It's just if you play this game as much as I'm sure if someone who's watching this video probably has you know what every item does absolutely and there's just no way you can forget alright right, how do I make this? I know I gotta kill it when it if you hit it like that it'll make a DQ stick if you hit it when it's like that it'll make DQ seed nuts it's almost said seeds These are nice because they stun stuff and everything. I never actually use them throughout the game. I think we get hearts when we take these, but I just have to cut down every bush I see. It's just a reaction of, ah, I'm rusty. There we go. I want a stick. Avoid oh, stick. Ah, that was a fail of a guard. Come on. Oh, that was lucky on my part. Die. Yeah. All right, head up the ladder. Anyway, if you were reading what you saw before, you know that Dicky Tree has a poison within him. He's getting hurt. He's being held hostage, basically, by some evil force, which we don't know what it is yet, but I do, which you might not. And unless you've played this game, then you do. Alright, not gonna worry about those guys right now. 
sometimes to force advice from Navi. Yes. Go in here. Alright, taking a bet. It is a mm, compass. We're both compass. Damn, it's a map. Maps come in handy, especially with the compass. Uh, you can usually get around without the compass, but try to get the compass if you can, trust me. I know how to open a door! Oh, you're not gonna get along. Oh no, we're trapped. It's a trap! And bounce it back, and that's it. Oh, you're not, because you're not orange. Jump off a high. Oh, I know this. You're giving me useless information. Open the door. Oh. <sighs> Gamers nowadays take for granted skipping dialogue. <laughs> Back in the olden days, you don't get that privilege. You gotta sit through it. Right, jump and jump. New chest, what could it be? I know what this one is, so I'm not even gonna try to take a guess at it. I'm just that good. Slingshot! And they had to put fairy in front of it. Well, me being a fairy, I suppose uh, it's pretty fitting. Fairy slingshot for a fairy boy. Come on. Oh, uh, skip dialogue, please! Anyway, let's equip that. And we'll put you there. Why not? I can never get out of the start menu the right way. I always I always end up saving by accident. Let's see what's up here real quick. Because it's the treasure chest. I'm pretty sure there's a golden sculpture up here. Um at some point. Or unless it's Master Quest. Now I'm gonna get the two games mixed up. Anyway, I know you're wondering, wait a second, our block's gone, how are we gonna get out? See that ladder? We need to use our new toy! That's not how you use your new toy. There we go. And we're free. Simple as that. Using the advice from the uh, mushroom guy in the other room. Cabbage? I guess cabbage. Cabbage man. Uh, roll when you hit the ground and you survive high heights. Hey, we're coming up on the end time. No! I can get more done. We're going to the top level. Or the bottom level, I guess. And anyway, we know we got the slingshot, we can take these guys out. You can try to climb the vines and uh, see what happens. <laughs> it's not pretty. They uh, kind of lock onto you and hit you. And it gets frustrating. So always, always kill the Walchulas when you can. I think I'm saying that right, Walchula. I know that when they are floating on a web, it is Skulltula. Yeah. And then when it's on the wall, it's a Walchula. I think I'm probably saying that totally wrong, but at least I know there's a difference between the two, which is a start on something, I suppose. But, so yeah, that's Squatchon. Big, too. Very big. Before we deal with those, we're gonna go in here yeah, and see what it is, because I'm not actually sure what it is, I forget. Of course, we're locked inside, though. Okay, well, let's go grab that chest first. And then we'll deal with everything else. This is totally going to be compass. Oh, the classic little TikToks. This game is just so, I don't know. It's filled with memories of childhood. Like, the easy days. Bring it on. Aw, oh, that was stupid. I'm used to quick draw in games. Alright, and we're gonna pop in here. You hear that noise? I hear a well, golden skull shala. This isn't gonna be 100% walkthrough, by the way, guys, because honestly, I don't think I've ever actually 100%, 100%ed, 100%ed? I don't know how to even say it. I've never fully completed Zelda before. I've like, I've gotten all the container hearts before, and I've gotten all the skull shalas before, but I've never had a playthrough where I have done both. I wait for him to do nothing, I suppose. Anyway, he's paralyzed, let's jump! Yes! Get this guy. About two hits to kill. 
and they leave this token. And this token is good for so, so many things later. I will explain when we get to that point. I don't want to get ahead of myself because I tend to do that and it makes me feel like an idiot. Anyway, now that we're behind them, we can actually kill these things because you try to hit them when you're facing them. They got that hard outer shell. Shell. <laughs> uh, me and the English language do not get along. Oh my god. We're running at 10 minutes, but I'm going to go for a little bit longer just because we're pretty much to a point where it's suitable to stop. Turn around, buddy. And pow. Come on. Turn around. Pow. Alright, we're going to take a kamikaze dive. Woo! And down and break. Look at that. Smooth. Alright, pop up here. Kill this guy really quick. All right, uh, this is the end of part two. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and come back. Uh, subscribing is the easiest way to follow my videos. If you don't like to subscribe, which you should, because I will love you for it. Uh, I do have a Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, which I didn't until just recently, uh, you don't have to follow that. I guess it's called. You can just check in on it every once in a while. There's always going to be a link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. I love you. Goodbye.